New developments in the Republican race for Kansas governor. The unofficial vote toter is even closer than originally thought. The lead for Secretary of State Chris Kobach over Governor Jeff Collier is now only 91 votes. Enter an error was found. And we've also found some discrepancies in the totals put out by the Secretary of State's office and a few individual counties, including Wyandotte. Emily Sinovic is here to explain. Emily. Yeah, this is turning into quite the soap opera, right? We thought 191 votes was a razor thin lead for Kobach over Collier. Now that lead, like you said, is even thinner down to just 91 votes. And remember, Kobach is the current Kansas Secretary of State. Turns out his own office discovered an error, essentially finding 100 votes that hadn't yet been counted for Collier. This all happened in Thomas County in western Kansas. And well, after an election, each county sends results to the Secretary of State's office for review. During that review, the Secretary of State's office found the error. The county had originally tallied 522 votes for Collier, but somehow the Secretary of State's office tally online was only 422. We're going to make sure we, we count every vote. We're going to make sure we uh, cross all our T's and dot our I's and that uh, we get this thing done right. It's not clear exactly what happened, but here's a statement from Governor Collier's camp in response. Quote, the discovery of these 100 votes for Governor Collier that were not included in Tuesday night's results show the importance of getting this right. This is exactly why you have Canvas. This is why you check your math. And this is why Governor Collier will ensure that every vote is counted fairly and accurately. There is a ways to go, though, before there's any official final count. This double checking process continues with other counties across the state. And remember, there are those thousands of provisional ballots to review. Governor Collier is calling on Kobach to recuse himself while the process plays out. We, of course, will keep you posted. Back to you. Yeah, still a lot to follow. Emily, thank you. Johnson County commissioners want to know why it took so long to count votes. The final report didn't come out until 8 o'clock the next morning, more than 12 hours after the polls closed. Election Commissioner Ronnie Metzger spoke at this morning's meeting, and he says the delay was caused by new equipment being used for the first time. Both sides hope to learn from the problems as they get ready for November. Well, I'm very disappointed in the performance, obviously. Uh, I am not disappointed in the vendor, and I think uh, we need to allow them time to make this right. They have owned it. They've committed to fix it. And so let's give them the time to fulfill that. A multi-million dollar contract with election systems and software out of Omaha, Nebraska has not been finalized yet. And the county says it won't be if this were to happen again.